Hey, it's Jeff Summers with Watch You Know, and today the top 10 tips to help you grow your YouTube channel. I'm really excited to make this video because I was recently monetized and I just want to share what I've learned along the way. I do have a watch review channel, but that doesn't really matter here. I'm breaking my usual format. You could have a YouTube channel about anything and I know that I can help you and I guarantee if you do these 10 things, you will increase your subscribers. You will increase your views and watch time. So let's wait no longer and get right into it. Number 10, quality, not quantity. Now there's a lot of videos out on YouTube that say you should bang out video after video after video. But if your content is not good, no one cares if you have 100 videos out this past month. Make sure you focus on content above everything else. I would ask yourself three questions. What is the purpose of the video? Would this be something that your target audience would be interested in? And would you actually watch this video yourself had you not been in it? If you do those things and ask those questions and think about it, I bet that that's going to help your channel. Number nine is to use other platforms to draw attention to your YouTube channel. First of all, you should be telling everybody about your channel. Now, especially if you're new to YouTube, even if you're established, you should be telling everybody about your channel. Who's going to promote it if, if you're not? I would also highly recommend using social media to promote your channel and to draw attention to your channel. I spend about five to 15 minutes a day just communicating with the watch community because that's my niche. So whatever your niche is, you should do Instagram or uh, Twitter or whatever you're going to use. Sometimes I use Facebook, but not a lot to promote my channel. Let me show you how this can work. Make sure you have a link on your Instagram page uh, to, and that link should be to your YouTube page so that people can access it like that. Now on Twitter, you can actually do direct links. So that is a nice thing about Twitter. At the time of this video shooting, I have nearly a thousand followers on Twitter and about 5,400 on Instagram. That's like 6,400 people I can connect with and promote my YouTube video, my latest YouTube video or my channel. So that certainly will help. And if you do that too, it's gonna help your channel grow. Number eight, ask other people about your channel. What do they think? Specifically, I would suggest asking them these two questions. What did you like most about it? And what could be one suggestion for improvement? And uh, honestly, if you wanted to write in the comments below, uh, answer to those two questions for this video, that would, that would surely help me. But questions are really important and they're powerful because they create change and transformation and innovation. And that is certainly important to growing your YouTube channel. Number seven, get curious. Become a student of your YouTube channel and of other YouTube channels. Study them. What is it that your YouTube heroes are doing that you're not? Are they using a lot of editing? Um, are they using certain graphics? And if you don't know how to do that editing or graphics, you can ask. You can actually, in many cases, contact those people and uh, ask them, how do you do things on YouTube? How do you make this happen? If you ask nicely, a lot of the time, people will respond. All right, number six, make sure you have good audio. And by that, I mean use a microphone. You don't have to go out and spend 
money on a Blue Yeti. Although if you can afford it, go ahead and do it. These are great microphones, but something simple like this Altson omnidirectional microphone may be all that you really need. And that's what I'm using here today. So as long as it gets the job done and it sounds decent, I think that's what's important, but you don't have to break the bank. <clears throat> Number five, make sure that you have good lighting. That's really important. You could have a really expensive camera and the lighting is poor and it, it's not gonna look so great. So you wanna make sure that using something, unless you can use natural sunlight, and that's the cheapest option. And I've seen many videos that look great with natural sunlight, but that may not always be possible. So I recommend a softbox kit. Now I got mine for about $60. It is the ESDDI softbox kit, and it has two tripods, the two softboxes, two 85 LED watt lights, and a carrying case. Uh, if you can't find that, it's essentially the same thing as the Relano kit, and the Relano kit is spelled R-A-L-E-N-O, and the specs are the same on that. But you should use something unless you can take advantage of natural sunlight. And remember that the angle of the lights greatly affect how it comes across on camera and also the room lighting. So you need to experiment before you shoot. Number four, be careful about comparing yourself to others. You know, you're not Vlad and Nikki. You're not dude perfect. And that is going to be for you to top. The vast majority of us YouTubers are not at that level. So when I look at the watch review world, because that's my category, if I try to compare myself to Urban Gentry, who seems to be the top guy, I'm gonna suddenly become disappointed uh, and maybe depressed because I have nowhere near that many subscribers and watch time. Uh, but what I can do and what you can do is compare yourself to last month. Is your number of subscribers increasing at a rate more than last month? Is the watch time higher than last month? And you can keep track of this by using YouTube Studio and TubeBuddy. And remember, you're not Mr. Beast. If you're trying to outdo him, forget it. <laughs> it's just not going to happen. Gratitude is really important. All too often though, we forget about being grateful because we're focusing on the next thing. We're focusing on, for instance, 4,000 hours of watch time and 1,000 subscribers so you get monetized. Now maybe you're monetized and your channel is huge and you're looking at 100,000 subscribers or even a million subscribers. Gratitude, so important. Look how far you've come. You should be grateful for it. Look how far you've worked. Look how much you've learned along the way. That's so important. If you want to be successful, start with gratitude because gratitude will lead to increased motivation, which leads to success, especially when we're talking about your YouTube channel. As we approach the number one way to improve your YouTube channel and make it much more successful, I must say number two is humongous. It's a big deal. And that is setting goals. Setting goals, really important. You've probably heard it before, but it's really important. Uh, you are the one that's going to be choosing the goals, not me. But I can give you a couple uh, suggestions. And one might be a frequency upload goal. Now, remember, number 10 of my tips was quality, not quantity. However, if you can 
do two videos a week instead of one and they have uh, good content and they're quality videos, then you should do so. Another thing that you might want to try to set a goal for doing is uh, maybe one collaboration every other month or every month or you set the date. Uh, and collaborate with another YouTuber. I would suggest doing it with somebody that has a similar amount of subscribers. So if you have 150 subscribers, maybe you know 100, someone that has 100 or 200 subscribers would be great. And you guys build yourselves up um, and root for each other. <laughs> that, that's a cool thing to do. Uh, streaming, you might want to set a streaming goal. A lot of YouTubers do streaming as well and uh, you might wanna stream once or twice a month and maybe even have a guest when you stream. Remember, I can't set your goals for you, but I do wanna give you one important piece of advice, and that is to make sure that your goals are measurable and that you put a timeline on them. And that will surely help your YouTube channel. number one way to improve your channel to get more subscribers to get more views is enjoy it <laughs> yes you have to like doing this if you don't like doing it then forget it do something else uh, chances are that you will be successful with your youtube channel if you like making videos if you like the editing and the promotion and, and you enjoy making the videos, chances are you're going to do well with YouTube. Yeah, all that other technical stuff is important, but you gotta have the love of doing it. You're learning a lot about your niche. Um, I've certainly learned a lot about watches since I started my YouTube channel and you're learning a lot about filming and you should be having a lot of fun along the way. And maybe, just maybe you make some money. <laughs> so there you have it, my top 10 tips for growing your YouTube channel. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing to my channel. And I think that as YouTubers, we really should be supporting each other. Whenever I watch a video, I hit the subscribe button and it doesn't take a lot of effort, and I know it helps you guys out. So have a great day, evening, afternoon, whatever time it is, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.